So I'm just trying to learn, learn more and more every day, and just try to stay positive. Do you feel like even if you are thrown into the offense and see some increased action, that you've learned enough to, to be effective out there? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's the third week before going into the fourth week, so I'm just trying to stay positive. I mean, I know all my players. I know just about every position. So now it's just a matter of putting it all together and uh, going out there on Sunday and getting it done. And will you have to reduce your special teams play because you might get more of a role in the offense? I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure. I mean, hopefully not because I'll I always want to just go out there on special team and kind of prove that I can block it and do things like that. So, I mean, hopefully, I, I mean, I know I'll be tired, but I, I, I'm trying to stay on, on my special teams and stuff like that. So. You're on, you're on punt coverage. Right? I'm on punt coverage, punt return, punt, uh, kick off, kick off return. So I'm on everything. How much do you prepare for Devin Hester? Yeah, you definitely got to prepare a lot. You just try to, you know, you got to contain him because he's definitely a threat to, to take it to the to the house every time. So you just kind of uh, want to keep him contained and, and things like that and make sure tackles on him. Kicking the, the, the ball out of bounds. Is the best way for you guys to run down and not off the word. <laughs> I mean, in essence, of course, but you know there's going to be a time where he's going to get the ball, and you just got to just gotta make sure you make short tackles and get there and not let him get loose. The only strategy, really, is to hope he's on the sideline. If he gets in the open field, there's almost nothing you can do with him. Yeah, I mean, you, you never want to let him uh, break loose, but of course, when he's down there and he gets the ball, you kind of want to keep him contained and hope you, you get there first and kind of redirect him, and, and then uh, my teammates can kind of come and tackle. Now, when you're in a position now, Mario is kind of there, and you're do you try not to think too far ahead, not to get your hopes up for too much playing time, or is that hard? If, you know, I mean, it's not too hard. I just kind of try to take it day by day. And, it, and the less the less mental errors I have, the less the less errors I have on a day-to-day -day basis, the, the higher my chances are. So every day I just try to uh, be positive and you know, clear head and make sure I know my plays and special teams as well as the offense. So, I mean, I just take it day by day. And you essentially made the roster because you got a, a chance in the game. Do you think if you get a chance on on the offensive side in a game, you're going to have similar production? I mean, not the same type of thing. Similar productions to preseason. I mean, hopefully, you just kind of go in there and just play your best. That, 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 that's all you can do. So uh, when I get in there, I'm just going to be myself and, and try to make as many plays as I can. And hopefully, when the ball gets thrown my way, I can make catches and make some people miss it and do what I know. Do what I know I can do. If you fill in for Mary, would you run the same routes you did in, in the preseason, or is it? A a different spot in the um, it's a different spot, but essentially it's the same type of route. So okay. it's pretty much the same thing I was doing in the preseason, and mostly one-on-one -on -one stuff on the backside. So it's not it's nothing uh, fairly new. It's just new plays out of three receiver sets and things like that. So that's basically the only thing. Is, is Brian Jackson one of the guys you?